Right addition, welcome, happy day. The Obama administration is sending stimulus checks to dead people. Sounds reasonable since they mostly voted for him. Hey, Obama sold up the poor that he created millions more of them. Just say in Los Angeles, California recently, a federal judge there ruled that the death penalty in California is unconstitutional because it takes so long to enforce. Some people are on death row from you know 20 to 25, even as many as 30 years before they actually get put down, as it were. And that's not very nice. We're going to make it unconstitutional. I know why. That's because the right wing guys make the laws. They say there has to be a consequence for doing bad things. 85% of all people in California actually are in favor of the death penalty, but the bureaucrats, the left-wing commie guys, they're not. So after the trial is over and all the tears have been shed or the hands have been clapped, pick it, then it gets moved over to the hands of those left-wing people and just appeal after appeal and delay after delay because that's what they do. They complicate things to make things kind of go away effectively because nothing moves forward. I mean, get rid of them. Make them unconstitutional, not the death penalty. The EI system in Canada is an absolute mess. Let me give you an example here in New Brunswick. There are 30,000 men, big, strong, grown men collecting EI, and they're bringing in Hershey, at a Hershey plant, they're bringing in workers from other countries to work because they can't find workers in Canada. I mean, this doesn't even compute. They have 25 new Ford workers that arrived last week. I mean, this is a fourth generation family owned chocolate business in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, and they keep bringing them in from other places, and those lazy guys are sitting at home. What is it they do there? Nobody knows. Pope Francis, he's recently been quoted as saying that about 2% only of Catholic clergy are pedophiles. Pedophiles are priests, bishops, cardinals. He has told, you know, this newspaper in Italy, and he goes on and on. But said, that's okay, we're working with them and we're dealing with this. And don't worry about it, it's only about 8,000 priests globally. It's a pretty small percentage. Well, personally, it's a lot higher than that. And 8,000, even if he was right, that's a big number. And what's the consequence? Well, I know, I know, you get a raise, you get three months paid with, you know, you don't have to work and you get a new clergy or a new church. <laughs> that's just wrong. Back to capital punishment, send them to California when you fix that mess over there and hang them all because there ain't no worse sin than taking away the innocence of a child. Pedophiles, goodbye, hang them high. Former members of the Canada's Board of Directors now for CBC have sent out urgent messages to all government officials, anyone who listens, saying, hey guys, the public broadcaster's mandate is in pearl and they don't get more money from the government. Thank goodness it's in pearl. We might all get lucky and maybe they'll go broke because they spend about a billion dollars of taxpayer money every year. They don't spend it, they lose it. They're incompetent. They're a thing of the past. They shouldn't be around anymore. In Los Angeles, California, in the 1920s, in a city phone book, a city directory, it listed, listed all of its citizens by name and by occupation. Why Earp lived there, and he was listed as a capitalist. <laughs> Isn't that good? Earp died at home January 13th, 1929, at 80 years of age, and he was listed as a capitalist. I like capitalism. It's pretty darn good. Y'all come back tomorrow. I'm going to have more talk for you from the right. See ya.